some overall flavor to health benefits. The basic spices that a lot of us probably have sitting in our cabinets right now provide a lot more than you may initially think. Joining us today is registered dietitian Andrea Arikawa. She's going to help us out when it comes to making the most of our spices. Thanks so much for coming. We always love having always you here. Always my pleasure. All right, so we have three different spices up here. Let's run through them real quick. All right, so the first one I chose is cinnamon. Okay. And we all know cinnamon, right? We know it comes from a bark of a tree. And my favorite is the cin uh, Saigon cinnamon okay. because it has a very sweet taste mm. and it helps decrease blood sugar. Oh, so you know, it's definitely a spice to have if yeah. you have high blood sugar, if you have diabetes, pre diabetes, that's definitely a one a to go have. to. Okay, uh, my next one is my favorite, all time favorite. It's ginger. Mm -hmm. right? Ginger is a root and you can find it in a, in a powder in a brown form. And ginger, what is it not good for? You know, it's, <laughs> I it know decreases I love ginger. inflammation, <laughs> it helps with digestion. Yep. It helps with nausea, mm -hmm. and it also helps reduce the symptoms of the cold and oh, the wow. common flu. Okay. Just love it. This love is it. one of my favorites. Okay. And you can add it to pretty much anything you want. Yeah. It's pretty versatile. Good flavor. And then we have turmeric. It's also a root, just like ginger. It's in the same family, and it has this nice, you know, deep golden color, mm -hmm. and it helps prevent inflammation. Okay. And it also is an antioxidant, so it helps prevent your cells from damage. Gotcha. Okay. So now we talked about the health benefits for this, but why should we use spices in our food, just aside from the flavor part of it? So there is some cool research that is out there yeah. that shows that if you use a combination of different spices mm -hmm. and also herbs in your grilled meats, Ooh. you can actually prevent the formation of cancerous compounds oh. that usually form when you grill meats with yeah. the fat of the meat. You know, you have a lot of mm -hmm. cancerous compounds, especially colon cancer. Yeah. And if you use more spices in your mm -hmm. grilled meats, you can actually prevent the formation of some of those compounds. Oh, wow. So it's really, you know, you get the flavor, you get the safety, and then you get all the, the health, health benefits. benefits. That's right. So you right. can't really lose those three things for three spices. <laughs> you should always, always remember. Um, and so I guess when it comes to using a combination of these, what is your favorite combo? Oh, boy. You know, and this is like you can pretty much do whatever you yeah. want. I actually... Usually, I don't have a lot of, I just use a bunch of you know, different ones <laughs> no and see if it works. Yeah. And usually, you know, it does work pretty well, especially right. when you use it with foods that have a, a stronger taste. Okay. You know, and the other thing important is that you should probably not keep these for longer than 12 months in your cabinet. Oh. And you need to store them in a cool, dark, and dry place so Perfect. you can preserve their flavor. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And you guys can head over to our website, firstcoastliving.net, to catch this segment and all these tips again.